It's your boy LAPD Code 3 here back again with another episode of LSPDFR episode 241 guys and we are just 9 episodes away from the big 250th episode here in my channel and I just want to take the time to thank every single one of you for helping me come this far. We are nearly there and today we're going to be doing a California Highway Patrol episode and just like the last one guys it is going to be a DLS vehicle episode so today we're going to be doing a California Highway Patrol episode with the 2019 Dodge Charger. This thing came out amazing. I did a lot of uh, specs on this. Almost identical to the real life one. I'm not sure how far, how close have I gotten. Let uh, me know comments down below, guys. Let me know how, what do you guys think of it. Let's do a quick walk around. And uh, I'm not going to be able to get a view inside because my viewpoint 5 is still broken for some reason I'm not sure if it has to do something with the script itself but uh, it's no longer working so I can't do any more body cam episodes for a while until I get the newest version on Rustlin Party's Patreon but uh, recently installed San Andreas Forest revised and we'll be I, we'll be doing some patrols around that area so you guys can take a look at some of the uh, vegetation out there uh, no new calls no new call packs uh, but this is the stages for uh, this charger. It comes with two different XMLs, one for uh, classic CHP pattern and one for EV20, which is what I'm using now. So stage one, you're going to have these right here. I still have to work on the middle amber, have to add the middle amber to it. Uh, like I said, because it's still an experimental stage. Stage two, got the, uh, those back there, red and blue, steady burn there. And then we got the stage three. And we have our Yelp pattern. We have a horn pattern. And then we have our park pattern. So let me know what you guys think, guys. Tell me if there's still anything else that needs to be done with it. For all you California guys out there, I am open to your suggestions. Okay? So with that being said, guys, we're going to get on this episode. So I should take the time for right now to say let's get this up to at least 500 views, maybe 1,000 views by the end of the month. Maybe we'll see. Hopefully, I could use some more views. So be sure to hit that subscribe, guys. Smash like on this video, share this video, leave some comments down below, and let's get into patrol. Dispatch 2 out of 20. Show me available. Roger, 2 out of 20. Proceed to patrol area. Alright, let's go. East of um, the Jet Sam shipping terminal in San Andreas. Alright, so we're going to have a long drive on this one. We got an active warrant for a Jackson Alexan. So, we've got a Jet Sam shipping terminal. So, that's a long ass drive. That's way out in the Elysian Islands area, I believe. So. While we're driving there, might as well go code 3 all the way, at least till we get there. So I'm working on... For the CHP, I'm going to definitely install pretty much all my vehicles from the ELS days that I put on my Discord exclusive. They are all going to go uh, into this pack as part of the DLS pack. The ELS vehicles, for the people that are asking, um, am I still going to do ELS vehicle support? I am not, but I will be still doing ELS commissions if people want them, if they're not ready to move on to DLS from ELS. So I'm more than happy to still do commissions for ELS vehicles. Damn, people move. But uh, pretty much all my vehicles are going to start becoming DLS now. Because again, everybody's moving into it. And it seems like ELS is pretty much dead at this point. Uh, few people... Come on, dude. Very few people are still using it to this, uh, to this day. Oh, this looks like the same location we went on last time, and that person just ended up popping themselves. Or ended up just going um, into a suicidal rage and then ended up shooting themselves in the foot or something like that. I can't remember. I know they shot themselves when that happened, or they ended up getting shot by us. Here we go. 
go. All right. All right, let's go ahead and uh, park it right here. Hopefully we're not blocking traffic. Dispatch two Adam twenty, show me code six on Pico and Broadway. Acknowledged two Adam twenty. Okay, apparently I said code six, but okay, they gave me meal break. Why not? All right. I can't. I'm not even gonna waste a backup because it's just not gonna spawn inside the building. There he is. Alexi! Drop the weapon, bro. I need you to drop that weapon right now, man, alright? You're a moron. LSPD, hands up! Drop the weapon, bro. Come on now. Let's uh, let's be reasonable here, okay? LSPD, get down on the ground! Drop the weapon, come on. Let me see those hands! Come on, bro. Damn it. Bro! Jesus. Damn it. He walked right into me. I was gonna. I wasn't even gonna plan on shooting him, but I was gonna shoot him in the leg or something, but that just to stop him. But he ended up running in front of me, and now he got caught with the. Oh man, what a mess. Come on, get up. There you go, get up, get up, get up, get up. There you go, welcome back to the living, buddy. Stand by! You're under arrest! Alright, let's go ahead and hook him. Now yeah, let's get him out of here. All right, got anything in your pockets, man? Let's go ahead and get a code two back up here. Backup needed. North of uh, Mission Row Police Department, Textile City. A wallet filled with multiple Textile counterfeit City. money. Jackson Alexson. This is Victor 13. We're on it. Just waiting for backup now. Might as well go ahead and put him in the back seat while we run the charges on him. Alright, we got somebody watching him, so let's go ahead and no way. do his charges. So he's got an arrest warrant for aggravated trespass, so this ain't the first time he's done this. Uh, brandishing a firearm or weapon. He's got poaching as a felony. He's got charges for possession of illegal weapons and explosives, and now we have him on possession of counterfeit bills. So. Let's see. Possession of counterfeit items. We got him on resisting arrest and brandishing a firearm. And brandishing a firearm a weapon. Here we go. Alright. I wonder if it's still in here though. Nope, okay. So I don't have possession of it now. Did we write his charges in? We did not. Okay, so we're gonna have to do them again. So possession of brandishing firearm, possession. Public intoxication, because I did see that. 
and resisting arrest, and that's it for him. Assistance required north of uh, Mission Row Police Department in Textile City. Because we don't have a wanted charge in the CompuLite yet. Uh, Right now we're just going to arrest him for that as well, so that's going to be a code 4 guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, get back on patrol. Oh, that was weird. Alright, so we're going to pull over this vehicle because uh, it came down from that hill up there, back there, and did not fail to stop. Just went and did a full left turn without uh, yielding to a stop sign. Check him out, see what's going on here. It's a cute little Voltic though. Nice color. It is a nice color. How you doing, ma'am? My name is Officer Noriega. I'm with the California Highway Patrol. Do you know why I stopped you today? Okay, so I stopped you because you ran the stop sign back there. Did you not see the stop sign when you turned left? Okay, but ma'am, just because you're in a hurry does not mean you're in a hurry to die, okay? Something bad could have happened to you if you had made that left turn unsuspectingly, you know, let alone without any care in the world, all right? Do you have a driver's license registration and proof of insurance today? Okay. May I see that real quick? May I see some ID, please? We're in the Fox. Thank you. Okay. You've been in trouble with us before, Miss Fox? Okay. Just uh, sit tight for me, and I'm going to run your information real quick, okay? And we'll go from there. Yeah, it's a nice car, though. I like how they're yielding to me now. Look at that. They're trying to merge. I don't know what the hell is going on here, but they're trying to merge in the worst way possible. <laughs> they're trying to they're trying to yield away in the worst way possible right now. Now they're all trying to play chicken with each other. See who goes first. Oh my. Oh god, that is funny as hell. Alright, Miranda, what do you got? Age 21, trespassing, disobeying a sign, signal, or traffic control device. Okay, so she's known for disobeying stop signs in the past okay what about the Voltic got insurance on that everything checks out okay all right so we're just gonna give her a ticket for uh, running the red light moving violation uh, let's see I believe that's the one passing without sufficient clearance. Yep, okay. Always oh, signs yielding on. Oh, there it is, running a stop sign. That's what I was looking for. Alright, so running a stop sign is all we're going to get her for. And then uh, we'll let her go. Alright, Miranda, I'm sorry, but uh, no breaks today, okay? It's gonna be for $238. Uh, it's just gonna be a Thank citation you. for you, okay? Go ahead and sign it right here. And it says that you need to appear in court, okay? Be sure to get that taken care of, alright? Do you have any questions for me at this time? Okay, so with that being said, I'll give you a copy for you, okay? And I'll give you back your license, registration, insurance. All right, just uh, put your seatbelt on and uh, be careful on your way out. Okay, have a nice day. All right, so Miranda Fox got a ticket, and that's going to be a code four, guys. Let's see what we can get into next. Um, Vinewood Burger shot in uh, the Spooky Canal. We got reports of a robbery in progress at a store near Ampico. Go ahead and uh, have another more units out there respond code 3. 15, William 20, boy, 1 units respond code 
Alright, we're gonna have backup waiting for us here. Oh, and they're just spawning on top of each other? Dear God. This is that AI backup uh, script from like a while back. They're running, they're running. I got one. They got one, they got one. I'm going up the other. Stop running, bro. Come here. Come back here, bro. Stop running. Stop running, bro. Stop running. Come here. Taser, taser, taser. We got him. Looks like he's wearing a mask, too. Two masked assailants. One in custody. Oh, he had a knife on him. Damn. That would have been, that would have spelled the end for me right there. Oh, I got his knife. Attention all units. We are code four. No further units required. Let's hope the other suspect is in custody. It's been a while since this since this store was robbed. Rob's liquor store out here in Pico. It's been a while since this place was jacked. Man, where's that second suspect? Oh, there he is. Okay. Hello. Let's go ahead and secure his weapon too. Raymond for translation only. Let's put him right here against the wall right now. Raymond Avenue for translation only. Put them both right here for now. So we run uh, IDs on these guys. Let's mention check what they have. You picked a day of all days to rob a store, huh? Got a loaded mini SMG. Don't even want to know why he found a dildo in his pocket. Ew, I ain't touching that shit. Giovanni Locatelli and Frankie Swift. What? So, the guy I just checked right now, Frankie Swift, 25, and this guy is Francatelli. Locatelli, Locatelli, some shit like that. You know it's Italian. Oh no, I didn't see what they had on him. What did he have on him? I didn't even see it. I know this guy's got a gun, which I'm gonna run ID on it. A fake government card and glass breaking tools. So, burglary items and. A weapon. Okay. I don't know if I can. Okay, we go. Do we go to arrest Call us go to and so one one five and female Loaded mini SMG. And we so got him on. Brandy Rochas. Rochas. Respond. Uh, looks like it's been reported stolen for a while now. Okay. So let's go ahead and get his uh, charges out the way. Air charges and. Oh my god, these guys are definitely going to be the MVPs of our episode today, guys. <laughs> Giovanni Locatelli, we'll start with him. So he had... Right now we got him on multiple possession weapon charges. So we got him on possession of a deadly weapon. Deadly, where's the deadly weapon? Hold on. Is that with intent to assault? Okay. Uh, resisting, obstructing. We got him on property, robbery, aggravated robbery. Oh, no, first degree robbery with. I think that's about everything we got on him. No, this was the fucker that actually, uh, yeah, this was him, yeah, because we busted Frankie Swift, I believe. No, we busted, no, this is the guy we caught. This guy had the weapon, though, possession of a stolen weapon. Yeah, possession of a stolen firearm. So, there we go. Oh, 
illegal weapon. And then Frankie over here with the black mask. This dude had. He had gov uh, fake ID, fake government ID. Possession of a fake government ID. And he had a dangerous weapon resisting. Burglary tools. Burglary tools. And robbery, first degree robbery. And resisting arrest. We got him on both of those on that. Alright, let's take him. Let's take him in. And literally, the police station is like right there, but my station is way on the other side of the town, so. All right, gentlemen, we can take them now. Assistance required near um, Vineward Burger Shop in uh, Vespucci Canal. Five eight fifteen, five eight fifteen. All traffic units. CPI traffic. Leland, Twenty Sixth Street. Go to South Five Two Six Four. Are you five eighty five? All right. So Mr. Locatelli and Frank are going to be going to jail. That's going to be a code four, guys. We're going to head back to the station. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and park back where we started at. I'm not going to lie. It was uh, had a lot of complications making this episode. A lot of complications. But it's good to finally be back at the station. There's a lot of things I gotta work on with this vehicle so far from what I've seen on my episode. But uh, let's go ahead guys and do our court cases. And we're gonna get started with the people that we arrested today and gave tickets to. Starting off with Jackson Alexson who we had for uh, trespassing and he had a warrant for his arrest for aggravated trespassing. Uh, he's going to be doing nine months of prison on a $3,800 bond. Miranda Fox, she got a ticket for $187 for running the stop sign. So I'm guessing the courts gave her a break on that. And then we've got Giovanni Locatelli and Frankie Swift. So one of these two is going to be the MVP, guys. And I'm willing to bet it's going to be Frankie. But we'll see. So Giovanni's going to be doing 10 years in prison and an extra three years in prison on his $8,000 on a $8,000 release bond oh boy and then Frank is going to be doing nine years and seven months so it looks like the winner is going to be Giovanni Locatelli who is the most valued perp of the episode at 10 years at 13 years in federal prison for what he did so hopefully he'll learn his lesson and he won't do that again after he gets out so congratulations Giovanni Locatelli and it looks like it's starting to get really dark out here. I think it's going to rain too from what I'm seeing out there. So I'm going to cut this episode short, guys. And I just want to say thank you all for watching. Thank you for tuning into this episode. As we are nine episodes away from episode 250, where I will be doing a big live stream to celebrate that 250th episode. Make sure you guys check the community tabs on that on my YouTube channel so you guys can keep track of what I'm doing. And don't forget to hit that subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Don't forget to enable notifications. Leave some comments down below. Feedback's always appreciated. Stay safe this summer, guys. Stay, keep yourselves, uh, you know, stay out of that heat. It's getting pretty intense now. And uh, I'll catch you on the next episode. Till then, stay safe. Take care.